Hi, I'm Devin Rowe, and I'm doing my video project for Professor Abbott for class EVP 279. What my focus is on is smart boards and how we can use that to help taught, uh, teach math topics. Uh, the program I'm going to be using is something called GeoGebra. Now, I, this program is pretty neat and great because it's free, it's downloadable off the internet. All you have to do is install a couple things and you should get it free off the internet. Another one that's great to use is Geometry Sketchpad. The only problem with this is you have to buy it and download it onto your um, computer. And it's only one per computer, whereas your other is completely free. So both can do the same functions, but I recommend GeoGebra. Now what I'm going to show you what you can do with GeoGebra with a small board is teach kids the basic things like plotting lines, plotting points, using circles and stuff like that. Now, this is the program drawer drawer right here I have open with the small board. I recommend putting stuff on a grid, so you go to view and grid. The second thing now is, let's say I want to show kids how to plot points. So you click on the points, you have a kid come up and say plot the point one three, and they do that. Same thing, plot the point two three, same thing. If you want to erase, you can do view, delete object, do that. Now, I'm going to read this one too. Now, the next thing I want to show is how to graph, graph lines on this. Now, what you want to make sure is you choose the one that has the first option, line of two points. I'm going to make two points here. And then, after you choose this, connect those two points, it'll create a line. And also, on the left is your history, basically. And on the left is showing you my actual line I just graphed. Now, it puts it in standard form, so you have to have your students walk through the standard form to put it into point slope or slope and so to figure out what it is in terms of why. Another thing you can do, when you get rid of this, is graph circles with a certain radius. If you want, I'm going to graph a basic unit circle. And as you can see, it's easy for me to graph. I just had to drag the point to the radius I want it to be. Kids can do that with circles anywhere they want to be. Um, that's pretty much the basic functions kids can do with GeoGebra. You can also graph vertical lines, asymptotes, reflections, symmetries, stuff like that. But this is pretty much a good concept of beginning graphs for kids that want to learn basic math skills like plotting points, line segments, and circles. That concludes my video. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching.